What's up guys, Big D Wiz here. Today we're going to do an amp dyno drag between Orion and Soundstream. First up, let's look at the Orion Z-Treat 8K is what they call it. Um, you can see here about 180 bucks on Amazon, just depends on when you get it. And let's take a look in the box, let's open it up and see what's inside. We have the nice manual here, we have a base knob, we have an Orion sticker. And here's the amp, let's get it unboxed and taken out of the plastic and let's look it over. Here's the included base knob, remote sub-level. It uses a 3.5 millimeter jack and it's plastic. You can't hear that but I'm tapping it. It is plastic. And here's the manual. Let's flip it to the ratings and see what this bad boy says it will do. It's the one on the far right, the Z08000.1. It says 600, 1000, and 2000. So 600 watts at 4 ohms, 1,000 watts at 2 ohms, or 2,000 watts at 1 ohm, RMS 14.4 volts. All right, next up, we'll check out the Soundstream AR1.8000D. Here it is, nice pretty box, max power 8,000 watts, 95% efficient. Here's the manual, here's a little guide, some screws, and a remote base knob. Let's get it out of the plastic again. See what it's all about. Here's the remote base knob with the base level. Notice this one uses the uh, RJ11 style connector. And here's the manual. Has the ratings. Yes, let's check those out. Right in the middle, 700 watts at 4 ohms, 1200 watts at 2 ohms, or 2000 at 1 ohm, all RMS. Here are the amplifiers beside each other. You can see Soundstream got a little length battle going on here. Got some advantage in length. Well, let's check it out. What is the actual length? Soundstream is 18 and a half inches, whereas the Orion is 15 and a half. Width-wise, they're about the same, right around nine inches. In thickness, they're both a little over two inches. We'll check out the external connections on the Orion. We have eight gauge speaker outputs. We have four 30 amp fuses, four gauge power and ground. On the sound stream, we actually have four gauge speaker terminals here, and we have four gauge ground and positive with no fuses attached. On the opposite end, the Orion has line in, line outs, a gain, a subsonic on or off phase adjustment, low pass filter, bass boost, remote connection, and bridged in and out. The biggest difference with the sound stream is it does not have RCA outputs and it has an adjustable subsonic frequency level. Next, we'll get the amps all wired up. I've been asked before about using these wire ferrules. So I got some, and we're going to connect it up now. I was very careful to ensure that the positive and the ground of both amplifiers were exactly the same length. Also, to make it easier for you guys, I labeled on the amp dyno channel 1 for the Orion Z08000.1D, channel 2, Soundstream AR1.8000D. Might be difficult to see here, but both amps do have LEDs. Next up, this is something we always do, and we're always asked, Big D, how do you set your gain? Well, we actually gain match it using the DD1 Plus and set the overlap to 10 dB. Did this on both amplifiers. We use four XS Power D1400 14 volt batteries, in addition to eight banks of six Maxwell boost caps for our power. All right, I ain't no big dummy. I know why you guys are here. You want to see a battle of the Orion versus the Soundstream. Well, stay tuned, friends. Here it comes. All right, here we go. Both amps are connected to the dyno. Exact length cables for power, ground, and speaker leads. We're going to start off with the 4 ohm certified run. 1% THD, 40 hertz. Looks like, oh, Soundstream 604, Orion 496. Soundstream for the smack. Oh. All right, next up, we'll have two ohm certified 1% THD, 40 hertz. 
And oh yes, sound stream again. 11:32 to Ryan 8:14. And round three, Orion versus Soundstream at one ohm, 40 hertz, certified. Both amps are rated to do 2,000 watts RMS. Let's see what we get. Oh my goodness, look at that difference. 1850 for the Soundstream, 760 for the Orion. All right, for the final round, we're gonna go uncertified, 40 hertz, one ohm. This is gonna take us up to clipping. Again, these are rated RMS 2000 watts, so they should do close to 2000. Here we go. And wow, the Soundstream almost got there. 1931 Orion, epic fail, 771. I'd say the Soundstream for the knockout. All right, guys, just having a little fun there. Here are the results, which you just saw. And again, the big thing to note here is the Orion shut off in the one ohm mode. So there may be something wrong with that amp and it's almost two years old, so I'm not sure. I didn't get it from the manufacturer. I bought it from Amazon, just like you guys would have. So if you appreciate these types of videos, make sure you give us a thumbs up, share and subscribe. Got more interesting things coming, including some giveaways. That's right, giveaways of amplifiers. Make sure you're subscribed. Until next time, I'm out of here. All right, most of you guys know to watch after the credits of my videos because I always have some cool stuff. There you can see the date, 1-2016 for the Orion and one 2017 for the Soundstream. So both of these amps are old, quite a bit old. So let's take the bottom panel off of both. And we're gonna check out the internals and see what they look like. Although I do these tests for you guys, I just want you to know, buying an amplifier, um, the best watts per dollar is not always the best thing to do. These things are not built very well. They're not gonna last very long. So that's just kind of a caveat. But here, let's check the guts out. You can see the Orion on the left, Soundstream on the right. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're neatly laid out, but the Soundstream has noticeably larger transformers, has some beefier internal wiring. Also, Soundstream has larger rail caps, 3300 microfarad, 100 volt, whereas the Orion has 2200 microfarad, 80 volt. Something else I didn't find out until I, was, I finished the video pretty much is these Z-Treat amplifiers are actually international sales only. So this is a gray market amp. All right, here's the Orion with the bass song, just so you can get an idea. This is a four ohm sub. Still gives you an idea how it sounds. Seems to control the woofer pretty good. Let's try the sound stream. All right, now we have the sound stream AR8000.1 hooked up to our test sub down here. Let's crank it up, see how it sounds. track and start it up and turn on the amps and let's turn it up see which one has the most power with music there you go 2508 versus 1702